Okay, so you can see that I have started putting in my oil pastel into this section of my picture. And I'm going to do this side quite similarly to this one. I'm using a light blue, a dark blue and a white. You can use a dark, a mid-tone and a white. Most of you picked up a white when you were picking up your colours. So I'm outlining here first of all with the dark blue. Now I'm not putting lots of colour in, I'm just putting a little bit in like that. Then I'm going to use the mid blue and I'm blending them together working on top, blending them together. I'm not using my fingers to blend, I'm using the oil pastel to blend. And then I'm using the white to pull that across even further. And that creates quite a nice effect. I'm going to put in some blue here. I'm now also going to get my red and I'm going to get the orange and I'm going to do a little bit of red in here. I'm keeping these lines fairly angular and then I'm blending in with the orange. Now here if I put the orange on top of the blue I get a really dark shade happening. That's because orange and blue are opposite each other on the colour wheel which means that they're complementary colours and when you add one on top of the other you get a dark shade. I'm using the white to blend here but equally if you've got a yellow the yellow and the red together blended make a wonderful fiery orange colour. And that becomes beautifully dramatic. I'm going to add some more white here, just blending this together. And I'm going to add some of these darker blues into these lines here. And I'm just blending with the white. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that create such a strong effect? I'm going to add in a little bit of this orange again here just to darken up some of these bits. And I think that works really lovely. It's, it's nicer than just adding a black. It kind of creates more light, more colour, more drama. Um, and I'm thinking that I want to kind of get more blue into this bit here. Now, I don't have a purple in my set. Um, and most of you may not have picked up a purple either. And I'm kind of thinking I'd quite like a kind of purpley colour. So I'm going to layer the red on top of the blue here to kind of create a purple. I'm just going to blend these two together, creating that lovely purple. And I'm going to blend in a little bit more red here and here into this bit. And I'm going to use the white just to kind of lighten and blend that in even further. I'm going to add in a little bit of the darker blue here 
and I'm going to put a little bit of red on top of the dark blue to create a strong dark purple here. This area here would be quite shadowed. And I quite like the way this is looking. I'm going to add in a little bit of this dark blue here. And then a little bit of the white, the light blue here. And I'm just going to use the white to blend across. I lean quite heavily with oil pastels to blend them. And I'm just pushing the pastel into the paper, creating the blend. Now I think this is beginning to look really rather lovely and kind of reminiscent of the um, Franz Mark. The middle one, I'm thinking I want it to be quite golden colours rather than rather than the blues so I'm going to have start off with maybe more yellow in the middle and thinking about my colour wheel constantly with this and I'm thinking that I want to be using kind of purples I'm going to put some yellow into this section here I want this horse to kind of feel golden contrasting to the other ones almost like the opposite I want it to feel like it's the, the center of the light I'm gonna use some reds as well in here and on top of the red I'm gonna put a little bit of blue to create a purple I think I'll go for the lighter blue to create that sort of purple and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my white to blend that together. I'm going to use some nice oranges here to blend this down into. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to blend this nice and orange together. I'm going to put a little bit more red here, just building that up. And I want these eyes to sort of stand out, so this time I'm going to put some blue into the eye section and maybe into the nostril section as well. And that little bit of shadedness here, not too much, because I really like this golden colour. And I might just blend this out with the yellow and fill this horse completely in with the yellow. This makes a gorgeous contrast to the rest. I'm going to put in some reds now here. And here. Just bringing some of these lines back that I've kind of lost a little. Isn't that lovely? And I think I'll maybe use some blues in here to create some dark shadows, making the green. Some purples. Layering it all up, building up the colours. Okay, I'm quite pleased with this so far. I'm looking at Franz Marc's rainbow, it's not like the traditional rainbow, so I'm going to kind of go with just really warm colours in my rainbow. So I'm putting red in. This warmth. And then I'm going to put in yellow on top, kind of making a sort of orangey red. going to go just a bit more yellow here 
and then I'm going to put them this light blue just kind of above mixing to make the purple I do quite like that now I'm looking at Franz Mark's picture here and he's got quite sort of light pastel colour so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark in some yellowish tone in here into the background and you can see here I'm not actually putting too thick a layering on I'm just putting a light layering in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my white I'm just wiping it off and I'm just going to blend the white into here and making a nice pastel coloured background so the horses really stand out against the background and again with, with the background I think I'm going to put in my light blue but again I'm just putting it in quite lightly not putting in thick on here I'm just doing little strokes and then I'm going to get my white and I'm pushing quite hard here to do this and I'm pushing the white into here creating the pastel shade okay and that looks pretty cool. I mean, I could obviously work into it a little bit more. I could put maybe a little bit of dark in again on top here. Look at the different parts and bring it out. But I'm quite pleased with that. I think it looks pretty nice. It's doing what I'm kind of hoping it would do. I might want to kind of bring a little bit of light into some of the bits here with the yellow. And, you know, I feel like it's fairly successful. So I'm going to kind of just leave this as this. And this is my version of the Franz Mark horses.